everybody. Welcome to Thursday night with Mark and Lori. We are so glad to see you. Uh, it's been a few weeks. We were mm -hmm. on vacation. Market. And then we came home and Lori was sick for a little bit, a few days, wasn't feeling good, didn't have a voice to sing last week. So we decided we had to get on here tonight and uh, just sing a little bit, oh. share a little bit. So hopefully you will find us. And when you do, hit the share button to share with your friends. And we'll just sing a few songs. You'll know some of these. Uh, some of them you may not. And I'm trying to find us here on... There we are. Uh, but yeah, just kind of say, uh, comment. Let us know you're watching. Let us know where you're watching from. We love that.
say all the time, but man, it's so it, it means so much to us when we see all your names pop up here. Oh my goodness. Denise. Hey uh, girly. Uh, a lot of people oh my goodness. just uh, too many to name, but thank y'all so much. It means a lot. Um, I know a lot of times in churches now, and really when you look at most songs that are written, it seems like they're always just worship songs. And there's nothing wrong with worship songs. No, no. We love them. But we, love them. we sing them. I think we're missing something when we don't allow a platform or a place for other songs that may just be about our journey and uh, different things that we go through. Yeah. When you read the Psalms and even you read the New Testament, not everybody was on the mountain all of the time. <laughs> Especially when you read the Psalms. A lot of times in the Psalms, I mean, they were in the pit of despair. They were yes. here. They were there. They were worried. They were frustrated. They were afraid. But it was the, in those times that they became familiar with the power of God and the love of God and his redeeming uh, deliverance and all of that. And knowing who God is. They begin to realize who God was. Who God is and the power of God. And I don't disparage anybody writing worship songs, but at a certain point, there's only so many ways you can describe how great God is or how much you love God. Uh, here's a song written many years ago. Some of you will recognize it. It came on the radar the other day. We were going through YouTube clips or something, and it popped up. And um, it's just a song about reality.
to sing those kind of songs anymore because they can be depressing. <laughs> no, they're not. They minister to people because it lets them realize that God knows where they are and God knows where they're going and he's got them, he's holding them. And you will come through the valley and you will be on the mountain again. Talk about this song, babe, that you, um, that you wrote. Well, this is another song, kind of, it's taken right from the song. And... Um, <laughs> If you're feeling these verses when Lori begins to sing, um, hold on till you get to the chorus. Because I was reading through this psalm one day years ago and the words just seemed to jump off the page. It just said, um, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. In the morning I will dance in the warmth of your embrace. Listen to the words.
get back to that. <coughs> Years ago, we were singing at a church and we sang this next song. And the people responded, well, and after we got, after church was over, the pastor's wife came to me and said, you know, we don't really sing that song here. And I was like, really? She said, yeah, because we don't talk about things like that. Here's the song. I've had many tears and sorrow. I've had questions for tomorrow. Oh, there were times I didn't know right from wrong. YouTube, subscribe yes. to it, hit all the buttons to be notified when we're on. And also you can set your Facebook to be notified anytime <laughs> Lori goes live. So we always do this on Lori's Facebook page. So when she goes live or when we do this, you'll get a little ding notification that Lori Carruthers is live and you can tune over and listen to us. Until next time, be blessed. We love you. Oh my goodness. It's and uh, thankful for the Lord and all he's done in our lives. I'm fixing to go get some pizza and bring it home for dinner. Praise the Lord.